Yes, section of unit three, slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Again, this is total review from algebra one. If you want more uh, information on it, go to 6.4 on the algebra site and you, uh, more video, more notes, anything you can have, all right? All right, what are slopes of these lines? So let's see, uh, my rise, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So three over six is negative one half, right? Let's see this one. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down two over four is negative one half. And what kind of lines are they? They will never touch, therefore they are parallel lines. Great, all right. You hopefully remind me, remember this. You know, we've been doing some application and extension stuff that you should have been seeing this too as well, so it shouldn't be a shock. But here's a big one. Two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are the same. So if we have the slopes that are the same, here it was negative one half. If they're exactly the same, the lines are gonna be parallel. Any two vertical lines are parallel and any two horizontal lines are parallel. So if I have x equals four, when x equals 7, those are both going to be vertical, I know they're parallel. Or horizontal, I could have y equals negative 3 and y equals 7. Remember, these are special cases. That would indicate that they are both parallel. Let's try these out. Take it for a spin. Write the equation on the line that is parallel to y equals negative 3x minus 5 and goes through the point negative 1, 8. Remember, as always, y equals mx plus b, that's our key. So we have x, we have a y. We usually need three out of these four. What else do we have? Well, we know it's parallel, so what's our slope? Our slope here is negative three, so it has to be the same, so we're gonna use negative three. So y is eight, m is negative three, times x is negative one. We don't know our intercept. All right, negative three times one is positive three. Subtract three and we get five. So our intercept is five. Our slope is negative three. So the equation would be y equals negative three x plus five. Okay, let's go down here, see what we got. Are the following lines parallel? Why or why not? Well, if they're parallel, they have to have the same slope. To find the slope, it's gotta be in y equals mx plus b, right? So we have to find that. So 3x minus y equals 6. We've got to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 3x. All right. Now on questions like this, you know, does it matter anything about the intercept? Not really. All right. So when I divide this by negative 1, I know the slope of this is going to be 3x minus 6. So the slope of this one is 3. Now we need to find this one. So I'm going to add 6x on this one to both sides. 2y equals 6x plus 24. Divide by 2. y equals 3x plus 12. The slope here is 3. The slopes are the same, therefore the lines are parallel. So yes, they are parallel. Why? Because they have the same slope. All right. So if we have parallel lines, let's talk about perpendicular. So let's find the slope here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, over 4. That's negative 3 halves, right? That reduces negative 3 over 2. Let's find this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 over 9 is positive 2 thirds. And you can tell right here that they are perpendicular. That's a 90 degree angle. So what kind of lines are these? These are perpendicular. Hopefully, 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 hopefully you remember from algebra that these are called negative reciprocals, right? So. Two lines are perpendicular if and only if their slopes are negative reciprocals. And remember, negative reciprocals means what? I take my fraction and I flip it. So three was on the numerator, goes to the denominator. Two was the denominator, goes to the numerator. And the negative part means one of them is going to be a negative slope, one's going to be a positive slope. Remember, if I have two, that's 
the negative reciprocal of that is negative one half, all right? Likewise, if I have one third, I don't need to write it three over one, all right? I need to write that as negative three. We're moving on, this is geometry. You should understand that you don't need to write this over one all the time anymore. Also, vertical and horizontal lines are always, that shouldn't say parallel, that should say perpendicular. Oh, come on, Sullivan, once again proving I'm not the smartest man alive. Oh, hey, look, it's Mr. Brosten is here. Oh, Justin Bieber, nice. All right, yeah, uh, how you doing, Mr. Brust? Good, good. Excellent, all right, so you need some help? All right, we can do that. Um, we need to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to y equals 1 fifth x plus 2. All right, so y equals mx plus b. All right, we know our y is negative 4. Our m is 1 fifth. We need to flip it and take the negative, so that's negative 5 times our x is 15 plus b. Multiply out here. Negative 5 times 15 is negative 75 plus b. Add 75 to both sides. b equals 71. So our equation, y equals, remember we're going to use a new slope, negative 5x plus 71. Perfect. Mr. Brust, uh, do you think that helped you out? You're good to go, man. I'm glad we could help, man. Hey, you guys, you don't understand. Mr. Brust knows everybody. One day I went over to his house like last summer. We we're having a barbecue. I walk in, there's Jeff Probst from Survivor. You know, the guy who hosts Survivor? There he is just on his couch. Go ahead, ask, kids in Ramsland, go ahead, ask him about it. It's crazy. He went to college with them. Same fraternity. Unreal. All right, so let's try this one. Are the following equations perpendicular? Why or why not? So we know the slope of this one is 4. We don't know the slope down here. We need to subtract 8x. So we have negative 2y equals negative 8x plus 10. Divide by negative 2. So we have y equals 4x minus 5. So we have 4 and 4 are our slopes. Are they perpendicular? No, they're not perpendicular because for us, if we be perpendicular, this would have to be 4 and negative 1 fourth. They're exactly the same. In fact, these lines would be what? Parallel, right? All right, remember when the lines have the same slope, they are parallel. All right, a little bit tougher when a parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides that are parallel. Is quadrilateral ABCD a parallelogram? All right, well, the first thing I would do on this is just kind of sketch it out. All right, so I have A here, and that's 1, 1. B is a little over, a little up. That's 5, 3. Now, does it matter really if my lines are, are exact or not? Absolutely not, okay? It doesn't matter at all. So that's C, and then D is 3, 0. So that's going to be like here. All that matters is that I have these points, because now I have to find the slope of this. I need to find the slope of this, the slope of this, and the slope of that, right? So it's easy to find slope. We do y2 over y1, so let's do ba here. 3 minus 1 over 5 minus 1. So the slope from a to b is 2 over 4, which is the same as 1 half, all right? So A, B, our slope is going to be 1 half. How about from B to C? All right, 1 minus 3. I'm going to put it over here. B to C. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And then 7 minus 5 is 2, so that's going to be negative 1. So that slope here is negative 1. Now, does it matter that they're not, well, they're definitely not perpendicular, are they? No. But um, it doesn't matter that they're not related at all because they're adjacent sides. And this is opposite sides. So let's see here. Here's an opposite side. So if this is a parallelogram, this should be 1 half, right? All right, let's see. Uh, 1 minus 0 is 1. 7 minus 3 is 4. Well, 1 minus 0, uh, that's 1 fourth, right? 1 fourth is not what we wanted. 
All right, and since one-fourth and one-half are not the same, is this a parallelogram? Absolutely not. All right, for giggles, let's go in for the last one. Zero minus one is negative one. Three minus, that's two. Negative one-half, and those aren't the same either. All right, so is it a parallelogram? No, if it were a parallelogram, this side and this side would have to have the same slope. And this side and this side would have to have the same slope. All right? All right, why don't you pause the video and try these out. Welcome back. I'm hoping you're really, you know, pausing the video and doing it right. I know, you know, there's shortcuts for everything in life. But guess what? If you don't learn this stuff, you're just going to have to do the mastery check over, and it's a pain in the butt. You shouldn't get in the habit of just retaking mastery checks. To me, that's a bad deal. All right, that is just pure laziness. You can learn this stuff the first time. I, I'm confident of that. The difference between the kids who just take the mastery checks over and over again, they just don't want to learn it the first time. They're trying to take shortcuts. If you do this, the, all these steps right, you're, you're fine. All right, get off my soapbox. Here we go. X, Y, parallel means it's going to be the same slope, so our slope's going to be negative 9. So, negative 5 equals 1 times negative 9 plus b. Negative 5 equals negative 9 plus b. Add 9, I get 4 equals b. So my slope is negative 9, so y equals negative 9x plus 4. All right, so this one's perpendicular. So that means it's not going to be 3, it's going to be negative 1 third will be our slope. All right, here we go. So y equals m, negative 1 third, times x, negative 3, plus b. 1 third of 3 is just 1, negative negative, that's 1, so 2 equals 1, plus b. Subtract 1, 1 equals b. So y equals, now am I using the 3? No, I'm using the negative 1 third, negative 1 third x, plus 1. Okay? So there you have it again. Hope you do great on these uh, and kill that unit three test. Move on to unit four. Uh, just in case you're wondering, you know, the Simpsons did solve the question, why, uh, when will you use geometry? All right, hope, home, uh, hope uh, Bart helps you out here. The basis of this game seems to be simple geometry. All you have to do is hit the ball here. I can't believe it. You've actually found a practical use for geometry.